so the place has been pulverized. I just caught this signal and I don't know. Really? No way. It looks like a large copper to me. And it rang up high. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh sh that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty uh, poppy. So what happens when your roads aren't maintained for a hundred years or so and it downpours the night before? Oh wow. Well, you make it about a hundred yards and then there's a lake. But just prior to the lake is a handy dandy spot to pull over and enough room for the Jeep to spin around. Right. But is that sky going to hold out? <laughs> It'll either go that way or, or this way. Right. This is as far as we're going with the vehicle. That's thunder. Well, I think we should get out for a couple minutes and listen to the sky. Yes. Hang on. Well, everybody, today is a sketchy day. Uh, it downpoured this morning. The sky broke. We just heard thunder coming in. That's basically how it's going to roll today. We're going to go exploring out here, as you can see, and. We're not sure if this is as far as we're gonna drive or not, but we got our detectors and all our gear. It'll Let's... happen as it happens. Yeah. I just wanna make sure the sky doesn't open up. Do you hear it? I hear it. In the I've distance? Heard it. I heard a drop, actually. See if you guys can hear this. That sky is about to open up. It's getting dark quick. Uh-huh. All right, well, we didn't have to sit it out too long, and it appears to have stopped and... It's brighter now. ...cleared for the moment, so we're gonna head down the road and start our exploring, and let's hope it stays non-raining. So we're gonna stop and hit this cellar hole first when we were here six years ago. Between three of us, one button was found. So the place has been pulverized you know, public access and easy to find, but we're still gonna have a good time today. So what I'm doing is I figure I'd pick through the iron, now that I'm a bit better at doing this, to see if I can pull anything out that I couldn't before. And I just caught this signal and I don't know. Really? I'm right outside the lip of the hole. All I can think is something modern. That's a pretty high numbers. No way. It looks like a large copper to me. Uh, that signal was plain as day. day. Seriously, man, this site has been pulverized. Well, if you notice, folks, we haven't disgeared. Uh huh. Unbelievable. I just figured. I just creeped in from when you, where you're kneeling. Yeah. I started hitting the iron bed, and it rang up high. Oh yeah. I see a harp. <gasps> Whoa, sh Fujio! Are you <laughs> kidding me? That's ridiculous! Oh no! <laughs> Dude, that is unbelievable. I didn't expect us to find anything because... I've been getting 70s old school pull tabs. That's my second Fujio. How nice for you. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Wow! I knew by oh, the yeah, numbers... Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Right on the corner. And you know what? 
if somebody else swung over, because we know people come through here and detect, you can. They probably heard that and went, nah, sheet metal. Yep. But I just lightly zeroed in onto it. Well. Second one I've held. First Fujio I held was on my very first day with these guys. That's right. Keeps dug it. See, it pays <laughs> to go back and it pays to tickle the iron. Amazing. So for those of you watching who either don't detect or may not know, the Fujio scent was only minted in 1787. It was designed by Benjamin Franklin and it is actually the first piece of circulated currency for the United States of America. Those 13 circles all linked together on the back that Dame pointed out. Those are the 13 colonies of the United States. That is correct. So the Fujio is an amazing piece of American history. And it also says, mind your business. Yes. That... Great advice. <laughs> be better world if everybody just minded their business. Because if you mind your own business, and you won't be minding mine. That's right. Oh yeah. Some sort of, some sort of tool. It was two pieces of iron, they folded over and then hammered on the edge here. And uh, it's purpose built. Huh. That is cool. Now I wonder, because of your distance from the house and looking at these rocks, is that a filled in well? This is what I'm, I'm thinking this is a well right here. I mean, it's circular. I think this is the well. All right, so the weather is uncertain as you can hear. We checked radar, 50-50? 50-50 straight up. So we're gonna keep going out further because I can't believe that that just happened. So <laughs> I think maybe we're in the zone today. I think so. So here we go. Walking down the road and Dame spots this stone in the wall. Look at that flat top. How cool is that? Good eye. Always keeping them open. Right. So we're at our second site, and this place was occupied into the early 1900s. And like I said, everybody comes up and digs here. And there is just stuff absolutely everywhere on the ground. All kinds of iron bits and new bits. And how we're going to spend the rest of this video is up in here, apparently looks like old field. It does. It, it's really clean. It looks terraced worked for as far as I can see. Because it's uphill. Yeah. I don't know if we'll find anything, but we'll have covered more ground. So we've made it all the way up to the top, probably about a 10 acre square. This would have been a beautiful field at one point in time. Probably took them generations. To clean it and as you go over the back wall here it just gets bad and you can see where they were tossing all the rocks but it's remarkable when you really go out into the deep woods of New England what appears to be the woods uh, you know was not a couple hundred years ago this would have been absolutely a gorgeous clean field so you would think just like any other field that people detect there should be stuff out here it just hasn't been plowed in 250 uh, years <laughs> yeah it's a 45 to 55 come on dame dig anything <laughs> <laughs> well this is anything it's uh a part of a gear it's <laughs> <laughs> wow <coughs> think of how absurd it was to break that yeah I imagine they must have been screwed. <laughs> yeah, right. In whatever they had planned for this thing. Huh. All right. So we are getting towards the bottom of the square here. We've gone all the way around. That's been the first target. Oddly enough, I can't believe how quiet it is, but away she goes. Away she goes, boys. Yes. Did it happen? Oh, nice. Spoon bowl. Iron. Beautiful. 
Good job. <laughs> so, as we're walking through, Dame's chanting. What were you chanting? Shoe buckle button coin, harmonica reed, Jerry Reed, Christopher Reeves. Right, he's just, <laughs> he was trying to summon a relic. There we go. Well, we are getting closer to the bottom of the field near the road, so. 39.42. Deeper than that. Well, what's that? <gasps> yes, yeah! Dame! <laughs> nice eye. Nice toe tap. tap. Woohoo! Awesome. Yeah, you know, I forgot they rang up in that range. All right. Toe tap. Yeah, you got your relic, buddy. Nice. Made my day. Yep. Well, that's it. We got our couple more relics out of there, and today was awesome because we got to explore an area that I hadn't been to in a long time. Dame had never been, but we spread out and got to see some cool things. Beautiful area. Just massive stonework, corrals, pens, and uh, beautiful terrain. So much less brutality than I'm used to. And a Fujio that's been sitting, just waiting. Waiting. For you. Unreal. I am, I, as we've been walking around all day, I'm still saying to myself, <laughs> that's why you go back. Makes it amazing. Yeah. All right, everybody. See you all again very soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.